What up, this is your boy T Mizzle coming back again with another Marvel Future Fight video. Today we're going to be talking about the Extreme Alliance Battle for Combat Villain. And of course, today's villain we're going to be focusing on is none other than Carnage. He's going to do all the damage that we need to happen for today. So the team we're going to go with is, of course, Hulk as the lead for the physical attack bonus. And then Red Hulk um, to make sure we get that team up bonus. Um, World Breakers, which is going to give us attack speed and all attack. All right. So this is going to be our team. Let's go ahead and take a look at Carnage stats because we want to make sure we focus on certain things. Uh, first of all, uh, physical attack. Always focus on your attack, whichever is physical or energy. So physical attack for Carnage uh, boosts as high as possible. Um, once you do that, make sure your cooldown is maxed, which is 36%. 50% is the max, but with your guild, well, excuse me, with your alliance uh, bonus, you're going to have it 50% max. And then your defense pin or ignore defense now, uh, make sure that's max as well at 50%. Um, crit damage, you want to max out crit damage. Um, I'm almost there. 186% uh, is max. Um, get that max. And then once your crit damage is max, get your attack speed. Um, I would recommend you getting it over 125%. Um, that way it's going to allow Carnage to do his moves and be able to cancel out of it if you need to, 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 stay, to stay out of the, um, the reach of the beast. So um, the faster attack speed is going to allow you to dodge the beast if needed and also the meteor. So make sure you get that attack speed at least 125% or higher. All right. Um, the ISO set that we went with, uh, we have Overdrive. That was the first one that came up. Um, of course, like I always say, Overdrive or Power the Angry Hawk are the two favorites for uh, Extreme Alliance Battle. Um, the reason those two are the favorites because you get more attack um, ISOs with them. Um, like on Overdrive, you get two of the um, physical or all attack, the uh, what are they kind of like silver gems or whatever, or ISO. And then you have the two uh, Chaotics that you can use. Is that what they call Chaotics? Yeah, I think so, whatever. You know what I mean, the colored ones. Um, you get two of those, but in Anger to Power, Power of the Angry Hawk, you get one of the silver ones and three of the um, the colored ones, Chaotix, that's what I call them. So, um, again, you get more attack in those two sets. Then Hawk's Eye also is an attack set as well. It just don't, it's just that you don't get as much attack power in that one. So that's why I peak, that's why we always say Overdrive or Power and Angry Hawk for the best attack sets for the uh, Extreme Alliance Battle, okay? Um, for your gear, today's uh, Alliance Battle does not require immune to guard break, so you don't have to worry about that. You can pretty much use any stats that you have um, for the first two stats, as long as you have that damage proc on the gear, you should be good to go. So the higher the damage proc, the best, the better it is. Okay. Of course, try to get something that you need. Like if you need crit damage, get a crit damage gear. If you need a, a crit rate, get that. If you need a recovery or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying. So get get whatever uh, gear that you need to make the to to make it work for you. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at some gameplay. And during the gameplay, there's a few tips I'm gonna give you guys. I know a lot of people have trouble with Carnage and Extreme Alliance Battle, myself included. I'm still not pro like some of the guys. I think the highest I've ever gotten was like 220, and that was probably a fluke. Um, I'm usually around 200. Um, that's usually where I'm at. So, uh, like I said, today's run, I'm gonna show you, it's not a 200 run or two, over 200, but it's just a good run to show you for video purposes. So, um, here it is. Let's go ahead and jump into the video and um, I'll walk you through it as we go along here. So the first thing you're gonna notice when we start off, um, you always wanna wait until the, 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 the camera zooms in on the beast, okay? This is gonna allow all the mobs to go ahead and spawn so that way you can get a lot of damage off at front, up, up front, okay? And also, real quick, um, when I first start the battle, and this is usually with any of them except, I mean, well, Today, particular with Carnage, because if he gets hit by the beast, he's going to get stunned. So what you always want to do is start this one off with Hulk, kind of do like a little circle like I just did, and uh, wait for the beast to do it, do his uh, two leaps. Um, sometimes you can actually move him up closer to the center, and the beast to just leap once, and then you can swap Carnage in without Carnage. You just don't want Carnage to get stunned, okay? Um, as you notice in the video, my Hulk does get stunned here, but nevertheless, we're going to continue to go. Now Carnage is in. The rotation you're gonna be using is five, 
four, one, three. It's going to be five, four, one, three. Okay. And the reason you're going to use that rotation, basically what you want to do to help you stay safe from getting hit by the beast. Whenever you use the three skill, you want to make sure your five is about two and a half to two seconds left on cooldown. Okay. So before I use that three, I want to make sure that my five will be off cooldown within about two seconds. Okay. So that's why you use the one after the four to give your uh, five skill time to cool down. And then you can, you know, so that way when you hit three, by the time your three is done, you can go right back into the five. So again, five, four, one, three is really what you want to focus on is your rotation. And you'll notice that if you do that rotation, just like I said, if you only use three, when your five skill is about two to two and a half seconds left, it'll put you in a perfect position to always use your three, then right into the five, okay? If you do it out of order, you're gonna kind of mess yourself up. So just make sure you kind of pay attention to that. If you haven't been doing it, then try it, and I guarantee you're gonna like it. It's a very good tip. Um, if you get that down pat, then you'll be good to go, okay? You'll have a lot better scores than what you've been doing. The only thing we need to work on now is keeping the bar, and that's myself included. It's really difficult to keep the bar with carnage, but I can tell you one thing, um, it's a couple of tips I can give you about it, okay? And I'll show you here. So, whenever Carnage goes down, for one, on the number three skill, if you just uh, kind of guide whichever way you want him to go, make sure you're trying to guide him that way before, right, be, right before you use the skill. And just and he will go that way. The same with the five skill. Right when you use that five skill, if you kind of uh, move your finger in the direction you want to go or just kind of guide him which way you want to go, he will go in that in that particular direction, okay? So you can control it a little bit. It's not exact like most other heroes, but there is some guidance that you can do. Like when he, like on the five skill, when he first goes down, you can actually guide him the direction you want him to go, okay? And remember, he's always gonna try to come back to the beast. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, real quick, another tip is in this video, you'll notice I try to stay close to the beast at all times. Um, there are going to be times when he jumps over to get like mobs that are like across the um, across the room, but that's fine. He's going to come right back, but try to keep him um, like I use a controller. I play on iOS. I use a controller, so I always have my 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 controller um, toward the beast when I you know when I'm using those skills. Okay, now if I'm trying to run away from him, that's different. But when I'm using those skills, I always kind of keep him right around the beast. That way, I can keep an eye on what moves he's about to do. Just kind of help me. Um, stay out of danger, okay? So again, just pay attention. You'll notice I kind of stay right around the beast the whole fight here, okay? Um, the only thing I needed to do on this run was stay, keep the bar up a lot better, but I didn't, so um, that'll be for the next the next phase. That's the advanced uh, Carnage 2.0 version here, okay? So here we go. So like I said, after you use that four skill, use the one, and then your three should be ready and like I said, when you use that three, make sure you have about two, two and a half seconds left on your five skill. And it should put you in a perfect rhythm to where you don't get stunned by carnage. Another tip I, I can give you is that whenever you use the one, don't move. Just use it without moving him around because if you just stay there and use it, if he jumped to you, he will not stun you. Okay, so just kind of just be patient, just hit it. And if he jumps into you, you will not get stunned actually which is kind of weird. And then just your same thing with your three. After you use that one, just go right into your three and then you're good to go, okay? I've learned that if you try to move and you make a mistake and jump into him, when he's jumping to you, you're gonna get stunned, okay? But in this video, you'll see me kind of stand there and use that skill and I don't get stunned. And man, there you go. That was a quick video. So that was pretty much it man i know i did a lot of talking i hope you had a chance to actually look at the video but that was just kind of uh some of the tips i wanted to give you um man i hope that was clear if it wasn't real quick a recap recap five four one three is the rotation you want to use like i said by the time you use your three skill your five should be about two two and a half seconds left on cooldown that way, whenever your three finishes, you better go right back into your five skill, okay? That's exactly how you want the whole battle to go. And of course, when you get 
that down pat, then you can start working on moving around enough to keep the bar up. Okay. The next, the next level of working with carnage is knowing how to move at the right time and the right moment and guiding him to keep the bar up. And that's kind of where I need to work on. I mean, I could stay around this range, 180, 200 K that's my normal range of, of playing. So that's kind of where I'm at normally. Um, if I get that one lucky mode, I will go to 220, which I've done once or twice. But uh, anyway, that's my carnage video. I hope that helped you. Um, those are the things that helped me. Um, actually, I didn't come up with this stuff on my own, guys. Of course, this is, I, I get this information from guys that are scoring over 200 on a regular basis. So I'm still in the learning process. And as I learn, I want to just try to pass on you guys. And actually, what I need you to do, if you like this kind of video and this help you out, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Until the next time, this is your boy T. Mizzle, and I'm out. Peace.